I realized at the end of my third year of residency that I didn't know ultrasound as well as I wanted to. There was a case where someone came in almost coding and we wanted to evaluate his heart. Myself and my program director at the time realized that no matter how we put the probe, we couldn't find his heart. So then we looked between us and said, one of us has to learn how to do this properly. And so I decided to do a fellowship just to get my skills up. Once I went to my fellowship and realized everything that could be done with ultrasound, I became kind of a, an ultrasound geek. We've seen it literally save lives. There's a lot of features of IQ that really have a lot of wide potential. So first of all, the image quality is good. I can see the structures I need to with good delineation and I would certainly be able to tell pathology off the image. The IQ ergonomics is great. It's not too cumbersome. It's big enough for me to get a good solid grip in my hand. It's a little on the weightier side, which I like. It doesn't get too hot and it doesn't have a very obtrusive cord. It would be great if I can have something just to carry on me so that I can do it when I need to do it and not go hunting for a machine. At a $2,000 price point, I really believe this could make medical school adoption easier. I'm really excited about IQ's deep learning. It doesn't tell you what to do. It gives you suggestions, which then makes someone understand why the machine was telling them to move a certain way or rotate. Students have already heard about this. They're super excited. They, they're always asking me, when are we gonna get these? I really see a good use for it in education. Across the board, whether you're talking about med students, non-physicians, um, community practice physicians who might not have learned ultrasound in residency. If the IQ was available from a student's first day, they would have it on them during their physical exam courses, and so that there would be a lot of content developed towards physical exam correlation. But the potentials for this is just really far-reaching, and I think that's why so many people are so excited about it.